John Barnes here, Red Barnes Audio, and thank you for purchasing one of the packages that includes the templates and the macros. And this video is gonna go through as fast as possible, installing them, quote unquote. It's really simple. And there's only two little baby steps and we'll talk about those here. The, the minor things that always come up are, you could have a brand new installation of Studio One, you could be on version four, or version five. So depending on what you're on, there's minor variations. They're all very similar, but fundamentally, we have two little steps here. Number one, we're gonna copy the appropriate files and we're gonna move them to the right location. And when those files are in the right location, Studio One will see them, they'll show up, and I'll show you that in context here in just a second. And then for the macro toolbars, once you're inside Studio One, you go to the right spot and when you click, you'll get an import menu and you can import those. So we'll talk about that, I'll show you the files. It's really pretty straightforward. And of course, you know, this is not, you hear me say this all the time. Studio One's full of all these easy things. There's a bunch of shortcuts, it's simple. But it, just because something's easy doesn't mean it's always obvious at first. So yeah, you're gonna look back and go, okay, that's really easy. Get those right files, put them in the right place, get the other ones, import them, done. Uh, if I'm doing it myself, and because I've done it a hundred times, I can do the whole thing in less than two minutes. And the, but the first time you do it, yeah, it can take a while. Okay, so here's the four steps, the little baby steps we're going to go through. And depending on where you're at, for some people this is brain dead simple, and for other people they haven't done this sort of thing. You have to download the installation package. I'm going to assume you've done that. Go to the Jumpstart site, and you can go ahead and download the zip file. That's just a compressed folder that has a bunch of files in it. I think it has about eight files, nine files, depending on when, when you do this. And then on your machine, we're gonna have to find a specific folder. And then in that folder, there needs to be a subfolder. And that's dependent upon if you have a brand new installation. Studio One kind of doesn't put the folders in until you need them. So if it's brand new, if you've just installed Studio One, you won't have some subfolders. We'll add them in. There's only a couple of them. It's minor. And then we'll copy all the files over and then we'll manage the, uh, the macros. All right. So let me show you this here. So the first thing you need to do is download them. No, by default, everything goes to your downloads folder and you're going to have a zip file. If you're on the Mac, you can double click on that and it'll, it'll uh, expand them and uncompress them. If you're on the PC, you right click and you'll choose extract all and it'll just go ahead and it'll create this little folder right here, which is the same thing without the zip. On the Mac, double click. On the PC, right click. And you'll get this, this here. I'm going to turn off the uh, preview there. And you'll have a set of files. Now, by the way, if you don't have your extensions turned on on either the Mac or the PC, turn them on. They make life a lot easier. Now, that's totally outside of Studio One. But we work with extensions all the time, .wave, .mp3. And on, on both the Mac and the PC, you can turn on those extensions. And I highly recommend you do that. It makes life easier later. There are two files here that are for the macros. So those two are the macros. And then each template has two files. They're a little pair, brother, sister, that are working together for your template. You have a song template and you have a dot data folder and they work together. So that means that these right here, these little six are really three templates, okay? And uh, maybe later, maybe when you're watching this, maybe there's another template that could be four, but they're in sets of two. So we have to just get those all over to the proper folder. And when we do that, then life's pretty easy. Okay, so let me show you how that works here. I've highlighted all of them. I can go ahead and copy those. Uh, you actually can drag them. The other thing we're looking for is inside Studio One, there's a, there's a folder named Studio One, <laughs> cleverly. And it's in your documents folder. This is both the PC and the Mac has a documents folder. So in my case, it's this PC documents. Yours could be your username and then the documents. And then within that, you'll see Studio One. And in this case, you will notice that there is no template folder because on this machine, it's a brand new install. I just had this machine for about a week and I took it out so that you can see what will happen on a brand new machine. Some of you are gonna need to add a new folder and that's gonna be templates. And then below that, we're gonna need to put a subfolder. So we have the templates folder, and once that's there, we're gonna go into that folder and we're going to add a new folder. On the Mac, there's a new folder button you can also use. And so if you have version five, it's gonna be V5. 
If you have version four, it's going to be V4. But there's one little caveat. If you're on version five now, they've changed it. And under version five, we need to put an extra subfolder and that's going to be called songs. So if you kind of look back at it, it's Studio One Templates V5 Songs, okay? And that's the same on the PC or the Mac that it's, it's going to be Studio One. So it's under your Documents folder. Find your Documents folder, find Studio One below that, and you either have Templates V5 Songs because you've already, you've already created a template and you have a, an existing install, or you need to create them yourself. This is the only part. If you're in version four, we don't add the word songs. Version four is just V4, okay? So let me see, just, just so you know, if I was going to have, a, if I have version four and I'm installing these, it's just simply V4. That's where they belong for version four. V5 has an additional folder underneath it. They changed it in version five and added this. Partially because they have some other types of templates in the, that have come around for version five, and so they needed another subfolder. And I predict at some point there will be more template types that are beyond this. But in any case, we need them in the songs folder for version five. So I'm going to take these. You can copy them and paste them, but I'm going to drag them and drop them. I'm going to hold on the control so I get a copy of them. And now, because all of those are right there, this is totally going to work. That's all we need to do. Find out where we downloaded them extract them and be sure that those six files end up in either the v5 songs folder or if you're under version 4 then they would all get dropped i'm going to just put them there don't do this because you know you don't need them in both places uh, you'll see they'll get doubled up if you do that but now they're under v4 just for demonstration purposes or they're under v5 and they are over here right here okay once you've done that, now we are done with installing the templates. And to know that you've done it right, you can open up Studio One now. And it, it's okay if it was already opened. It'll, it'll still work the same. And then when you go in here to New Song, by default, if it's your first time, it'll be on this Styles tab. Up here are tabs. They're not obvious to most people the first time. But go over here to User, and there are the templates that we just installed. They're available to you now. We click on one and we have them there. So that's all it is. You get them in the right folder and you know what it is. You're sick of hearing about it now. In the templates v4 folder for version four, v5 songs, uh, then as long as you get all six of those or groups of two, if there's more in your package, put them all there. Everything that's not the two macro page, then be sure to put all those in. It's a song template, song data. They're brother, sister, they're working together, okay? So once you have that, you can open up, we'll open up, if you're doing audiobooks primarily, open up the narration one. If you're doing podcasts, if you're doing voiceover, just pick one of them. Doesn't really matter, and then we'll open it. Once they're open, then it's really simple to bring in the macro bars. And they're still sitting in the same place here. So you go over here to the left now, by the way, for some people, you may need to click here on RoboGuy. RoboGuy should be blue, have a blue background. Now I call him RoboGuy here. It could be RoboGal. And as long as that's showing, then you have some macro toolbars here. And if you go straight above the little, uh, what is that, a gear icon, then you're going to figure out that it, it does. there's nothing there. By the way, if you have an old version, it could say the word pages here. Page. It, either way, if you click on that, you will now get import. And guess what? All you need to do is go find your download folder where we put them originally. There's that folder. There's the two macro, and we're going to do it twice. We're going to open up Barnes Gold, and that'll put, the, put a macro toolbar right there. We're going to go right above the gear icon and click one time, and then we're going to import again, and we're going to do the other one. It really doesn't matter which order you're in. I prefer the, the short, uh, so just in case you're wondering, if you're new to this, the S means short. So if I made this, and it just means that if Studio One is shorter, that macro bar still fits up here at the top. If I have it really, well, if I switch to the other one, it's the same functionality. Uh, the difference is these are all spelled out. You see where it says start and end here? Well, you have the little uh, chevron and, and the word start. When you go to the other one, 
you'll see the same thing as just two icons. So they're shorter. That's what the S stands for. I tend to use the short one unless I'm doing e-learning, then I switch over. There is one more thing on the other one, but I usually I have that on a keyboard shortcut anyway, so I, I don't use it from here. I live on this one. This is the one where I live most of the time. This is the one I recommend you start with later if you need any more. Cool. This can be customized. We'll go on that. That you'll you see some of that in the advanced studio on advanced. We go over customizing the macro bar, right? Putting in your own, changing them around, those kind of things. That's all covered there. So that's all you have to do. Let's go back to our slideshow. And I opened a template and I imported the things. And so this just says. Hey, go to the left, click on the gear icon, import each one of those. The files are in the same zip, zip package you used for the template files. And then go ahead and watch the jumpstart, watch advanced, okay? I don't think you need me to tell you that, but now you have them installed. It's really simple. There is a document now, there's a new, there's a PDF that goes over this whole thing. I, if you've watched this video, you shouldn't need it, but if you want it, you can download the PDF goes over all this and it, it it does it has to talk about well if you have version four you do this if you have version five you do this but some people do better seeing it written out so if that's you cool go download the PDF I think the video is easier but you use whatever works better for you it's all good if you have questions if you have comments if you have things that uh, that weren't clear be sure you feed it back to us we redo these we keep adding things we'll do a special session. Uh, call contact Donnie, contact me, support at redbarnsaudio.com. Uh, either way, you know, we'll make sure that you know what's going on. And so it's easy, but it's not obvious. And you can get uh, get us in the Facebook group. By the way, so many hundreds have done this thing that, that if you have a question, so does a whole bunch of other people. So don't be afraid to ask a question in the group. You can't get a hold of us immediately. Then uh, you can go ahead and go into the group. It's easy. It's not obvious. But uh, it is super easy, and you'll look back and go, oh, okay, Studio One's like that. Bunch of easy stuff, not always obvious. But once you know it, it's a one-time learn, and then you get to apply it 10,000 times over the, your voiceover career, and so it just becomes easier and easier. All right, I hope this helps. Hope, you, hope you're having a fantastic day. We appreciate you purchasing. And of course, if you need something, if we can help with it, Get in touch with us, this is Don Barnes and Donnie Barnes for Red Barnes Audio. I'll go back to the very beginning here where this is for installing the gold templates and macros. I hope you're having a great day. Look forward to hearing about your successes. Say hello in the Facebook groups. Talk to you later. Bye.